Hey. Excuse me. Hi. What's up? I thought you were like super cute. Thank I think I'm see what you were up to. Dude, that's my girlfriend. Is it's your girlfriend? That's my gay friend. Your gay friend? Ignore him. Okay. Where y'all headed? Just don't walk to the right. Why didn't you go back street? <laughs> I'm about to head back to my place and I was like yeah, seeing if yeah, people yeah. wanted to like go to my after party kind of thing. What hotel are y'all staying at? No, I have like oh, a, I have a place. I have like an Airbnb. Oh. Yeah, yeah. A couple of my friends and stuff. Okay. We're, go, he's from what here. And like around with him. Okay. Yeah, I will get you number and get you up if we're not doing nothing after that. Okay, sure. They're gonna run to go get Subway? Oh, okay. Yeah, we got, I mean, if you guys run out, we got back at a place too, so. Is that pressure, brother? Got you. What's up? Is that pressure? I don't know what type it is. It's my friends. What's so. your name? Is it that gas, though? I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I guess you high. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yo, I can meet the whole Yeah. In this video, I'm going to talk about how one of my coaching clients pulled a girl after a two minute interaction, pulled a girl back to our place, and he did this on his first ever night of doing cold approach. So we're going to talk about how that happened and some really important lessons that might change the way you approach going out and meeting women and help you get a lot better results because you're going to find out that sometimes even a short two minute approach can end up leading to something really cool happening. So to start off, let's talk about how your night went as you started going out and doing approaches. Yeah, so uh, we started the night approaching different girls. Um, I eventually got um, some receptive girls and I hung out with them for probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, hey, excuse me. You always know where like the fun place is tonight? Like where it's happening? Place on the left. Okay. The booty pop. What does that mean? Keep blonde girl. Oh, word. Um, and then it, and at that point, I was kind of trying to to pull them. We were at a bar, and they were both very. They were like, "No, we, we want to finish this drink and then go home." Like these two girls, they turned out to be married. Yeah. So, so I was like, "Okay, this interaction's done, whatever." And then another two girls that was going really well but the logistics were very bad. Her friend was kind of a clock block. Um, her friend was married, but she was single, yeah. and her friend wasn't really about it, but the other girl, who was very attractive, was definitely into you, but yeah. it's kind of a difficult logistical situation. She was trying to wear a tube top, and I'm like, no, that's too scandalous. You can't wear that. You're married. Unbelievable. Married. You're married, married. young lady. Not yet. I feel like you're gonna be like the spontaneous type that like never settles down and like drives a drives a, a van across the country. I know I'm getting a reading right. Yeah. Damn. I don't know. I'm you're gonna like freelance online with like a, a van full of like plants and shit. Yeah. Like I need to settle down though. It's time. It's time. Like I feel like there's a hippie inside of you just like waiting to like burst. Yeah. So that didn't happen. Um. And then like, <laughs> I got caught with the mic, and then a cop got into the situation, it got really weird. So I had, to, I had to dip, I had to dip. But then as we're like pretty much closing up for the night, um, walking down the street, we're literally ordering our, our lift. I saw a girl on the curb with another guy. And right, she, like, sitting next to a guy yeah. who looked like it was probably her boyfriend. That's what anyone assumed. I think that's yeah. what someone said, like, that's her boyfriend, right? We're walking by, yeah. and then you think. Yeah, and I totally thought the same thing, I was like, I was like, okay, like she, we totally locked eyes for a solid like two seconds. I said, hey, she said, hey, but I kept on walking because like, well, she's right next to her boyfriend. Then Avery's like, you don't know that. Like, go say hello. Like, you, you don't know the affiliation. Like, that could be like her gay best friend. Turns out it was. Um, and so I like, I went up to her. I was like, hi, like, what's your Instagram? Like, what are you up to? Um, and then she gave me her Instagram. She like, we're, we're throwing like after party. Like, I don't, what are you guys up to? Um, and then she messaged me on Instagram, like, hey, like, where's this after party? Like, what's going on? Kind of thing. And I messaged her, like, 
oh yeah, we're, we're going to play some beer pong. We're just hanging out with chill vibes. Um, and then they pulled up. And, uh, yeah. and they came over from, from a two-minute interaction. So yeah. he pulled a girl home from literally a two-minute approach, a girl with a guy. And one thing about approaching a girl with a guy is, yeah, there's a chance that it's the boyfriend and he's like, might get a little confrontational. He's not going to just punch you out of nowhere. Very, very rare for that to happen. But he might be like, that's my girlfriend, bro. And then you say, oh, okay, well, you have good taste. You know, it's a compliment, right? Yeah. And then you walk away. But if it's not, if they're not together, it actually makes you seem really bold and really confident, and it makes you come across as very attractive. Plus, if a girl is with a guy, no other guys are probably approaching them. So if you approach her, it's pretty much either you or the guy she's with. And if the guy she's with is her gay best friend or her cousin or her orbiter who buys her shit or whatever, you're probably like the only other option she has. You're the one other guy that talked to her that whole night. So basically the deck is stacked in your favor. So a lot of times approaching a girl with a guy is a very good thing to do and it will turn out. But also the other important lesson from this is he had multiple interactions that are going well, 30, 45 minute interactions where the girl was into him, but the logistical situation was bad. So he could have spent two hours talking to two of those girls yeah. and not brought them home. Nothing would have happened and nothing would have come from it. Whereas he approached a girl for two minutes and he did end up bringing her home. So there's this myth in the, the pickup community that short interactions are useless. They're all gonna be flakes. Nothing's gonna happen. Look, real, like in reality, a lot of game, it's, it's about rolling the dice. It's about meeting girls that have chemistry with you, meeting girls that are in the right emotional space to be meeting a guy, girls who are like, yeah, I might be down to go home with someone tonight, as opposed to meeting girls who are like married and just want to get attention from guys because they're bored with their husbands and they want some male validation because their husbands are like not paying attention to them anymore or something like that, right? So it isn't entirely a numbers game. There's a skill to it. And the more, the better your energy is, the better your game is, uh, the better you look, all those things will improve the ratio of girls that will be interested. But a lot of it is finding the girls that are interested in capitalizing on those as opposed to what a lot of guys do is they'll approach two girls, talk to them for two hours, not realizing that it was never going to happen. So you wanna find out quickly, can I pull this girl? Is she down? And if she's not down, then I should just get her number, move on, and maybe she'll show up for a date, maybe she'll show up later. Yeah. So if you're having like a, an interaction and it's going decently well, you like the girl, she seems to be possibly into you, just say, hey, what are you guys doing later? Or say, hey, I'm having an after party later, you guys should come. And then if she says, yeah, that sounds cool, that means they're open to the possibility of going home with you later, and it's a good idea to commit and stick to that longer. Whereas if they say, oh, I have to do, you know, uh, I have to get up early, we're leaving in the morning, they don't seem down, they're not interested, then just, you know, get their number, move on to the next girl, as opposed to, it's like doubling down on a bad poker hand. If you have bad poker cards and you keep betting more and more money, you're just wasting a lot of money. And that's the same thing if you're talking to two girls, their logistics are bad, you know, you probably can't pull them and you keep spending more and more time, you're just wasting your night on an interaction that isn't going anywhere. So a lot of the times a pull will happen from like a two minute interaction. And also the other lesson from this is getting numbers from a club is very valuable. Get a ton of girls numbers and get it with the context, hey, we're having an after party later, you should come, invite them all at the end of the night and some of them will probably come. And if you do that consistently, you'll end up bringing a lot more girls home. Any last thoughts to add to that? No, it's pretty spot on. So yeah, and look, this was his first night ever doing cold approach. Um, you probably thought, like, I, I'm guessing you didn't think you would pull the first no. night you did it. No, um, not at all. And it, it doesn't have to be super difficult. There's just a few things you have to do right. You have to show some intent. You have to lead things forward. I mean, that was the other big lesson I was giving you is just go for the yeah. lead. Lead, take them to the bar ask them to the after party, move them around, lead, lead, lead. And if you do that, the girls who are interested, they follow, eventually you pull them. And that also shows you if a girl won't follow your lead, it's probably not gonna happen. So you just get her number and move on. And so that's a lot of what getting results from cold approach, just making a few good decisions and showing intent, taking the lead and finding the girls that are open to going home with a guy and then capitalizing on that as opposed to 
focusing all your time on the first girl you approach who like sticks to you, but then yeah. she's married and with her other married friend, and then you spend two hours and then she's like really turned on and she has the best sex she's had with her husband in a long time uh, because she has that validation that he hasn't been giving her. Which, you know, if that's, that's very generous of you if that's what you wanna do, but that's not necessarily uh, what I would recommend. So yeah, I think that was some really important lessons and it should be inspiring because on your first time going out, you can get good results. Don't expect it, it's not guaranteed, but this doesn't have to take years to where you're actually pulling girls and meeting cute girls and uh, going on dates, having sets, et set, sex, et cetera, that can happen in a short period of time if you do a few things right. Yeah, so that wraps up the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. If you don't hit the bell button, you won't be notified of the next video. I'm sure you've heard that enough times. All right, yeah, sure. have a good one. There right. we go.